The garbage mat allows you to crop out portions of a clip using movable points that connect different segments together to form a shape. Anything that's outside of the shape is cropped out. The garbage mat can be found in the effects panel. Go to the video effects folder and look inside the keying folder. There are three types of garbage mats. Each type gives you a different number of movable points. You have the four point, eight point, and 16 point garbage mat. The more points you have, then the more complex your shapes can be. Click and drag the one that you want to apply to your clip. Then go to the effect controls window and select the garbage mat. This will bring out the adjustable points, which you can see in the program monitor. To begin cropping the clip, just click and drag the points to adjust the shape of the cropping area. The area outside of the shape is transparent. So anything underneath this clip is going to show through the transparent area. But right now, I don't have any other clips underneath, so all we see in the transparent areas is black. You can also move the points of the garbage mat by specifying X and Y coordinates for each point. If you expand the garbage mat settings in the effect controls window, you'll see the settings for each point. For the four point garbage mat, we have the top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left points. The left value is for the X coordinate, and the right value is for the Y coordinate. If I adjust the values for the top left point, which is this one right here, you'll see the point move to a different location. Moving the points using the garbage mat settings here in the effect controls window allows you to make adjustments that are more precise compared to the click and drag method. Commonly, the garbage mat is used to crop out unwanted portions of a clip, such as in green screen footage that have some unwanted objects around the sides. But you can use the garbage mat for other creative purposes. For example, you could use it to create split screen effects like these. You can also add keyframes to animate the movement of the points. This creates a cropping area that can change shape and move around.